You're watching NBC4 working for you. Live from the area's leading news station, this is News 4 at 6. Now back to the report that we tried to bring you just a few minutes ago, that new study linking the consumption of too much red meat to an increased risk of death. Craig Melvin is back. We're going to try again, huh, Craig? Yeah, let's try it again. In that study, Doreen, red meats included beef, bacon, and ham, but processed meats like hot dogs and sausages, even in small amounts, are just as bad for you. Tonight, a look at what we should all be eating more of, and the, the popular hamburger spot that acknowledges too much of a good thing probably isn't good. Vernon, pick up for Vernon. 88, pick up for Vernon, please. Vernon Henshaw likes his burgers. Oh, I got a double cheeseburger. Steak and cheese. The 52 year old should think twice before he scarfs it down, at least according to a new study from the National Cancer Institute. Researchers followed half a million people for 10 years. Those who ate just four ounces of red meat a day were nearly three times as likely to die sooner than those who did not. Among women, about 50% died of heart disease and 20% uh, from cancer. And these were the people who had consumed more red meat as opposed to that those who did not. Z Burgers is famous for its sizzling patties, but even its spokesman, Peter Leonidas, admits its hallmark isn't always the best option. I've read many studies like that, and uh, it's obvious that uh, some red meats are not that helpful for you. The American Meat Institute disagrees. They issued this statement saying, quote, Meat products are part of a healthy, balanced diet, and studies show they actually provide a sense of satisfaction and fullness that can help with weight control. Proper body weight contributes to good health overall. The study contends we'd all be a lot better off eating more meats like chicken and turkey. Leoninus agrees and even showed off their veggie and turkey burger. But if you have to have a burger, a bit of advice. Clearly, we should follow the advice of the ancient Greeks. Socrates said one thing, in all that ways be moderate, right? This is the last time I'm coming here. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not, is it? No, it's not. Now, those in that study, those in the study who ate the most red meat consumed about four and a half ounces a day. That's slightly larger than a deck of cards. But we should know that the study, the study followed folks between the ages of 50 and 71. Jim Doreen. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. Why, why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? Is there anything in there that says maybe for some of us it's just too late, forget about it? No. You've been doing that crap all your life, this. so you might as well just keep on because it's too late now. You're not 71 yet. Pat. There's still hope. You're still, There's you're still, still hope. In the group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. Yeah. Thank you, Craig.